Alright, so if you know me, it must be obvious that I was spending my free time at the gym doing some bicep curls and then I realised, hold on, what's this on my phone? I put down my giant muscle arm, picked up my phone, and I realised, oh my god, it's an upcoming JoJo game. What should I do? I'll make a video on it straight away. That's right, today I'm going to be going over some JoJo game that I found recently, which I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but I wanted to wait a little bit since there wasn't really many sneaks to go off of. And even now, there's still not a lot of sneaks to go off of, but I just really want to talk about the game since anything JoJo related just gets me excited. So without further ado, let's go into the progression. Yeah. So to start off, the game has three parts when it comes to progression. This consists of the leveling progression, stamp progression, and skill mastery progression. Overall, it's been mentioned to be semi-similar to YBA, I'm pretty sure, so you can expect something close to that if you want to have a better idea of what this game is. The leveling progression acts as a way to get you used to the mechanics of the game. The owner has said himself that it will follow a storyline, and that's pretty much all the information we have for this. Next up, we got the stamp progression. In complete honesty, I don't understand it too well. I'm just going to read out what the guy actually wrote himself, so let me get it up. The stamp progression exists to get you decent at fighting and expand your knowledge, as it makes you do a bunch of different things slash achievements to obtain worthiness, including winning fights to guarantee your chance of getting the stands you want. It ends with a skill check, the still will run to obtain Rec Room. So if I had to guess, this is basically just similar to YBA, I think I might be overcomplicating it in my head, but think of YBA, I think that's what it's meant to be. To finish it off, we have the skill mastery progression. This is where you practice the game's combat system. According to the owner, the combat is very fun, which is obviously a good thing. He mentions how there will be a massive skill floor, which is why the progression before it exists to help people reach the skill floor to enjoy the combat. The final part of progression is you mastering the game's combat, which is apparently very rewarding. There will be different fighting modes as well as officially supported competitive stuff, which will be rewarding you getting like custom skins and everything like that in tournaments. Overall, it just seems like a buffed YBA, and I mean, that's an insanely good thing. I love how they will have stuff that directly speak to the community, such as tournaments for custom skins, and overall, the progression looks pretty decent. So moving on towards some of the sneaks, we can tell the game is promising. On screen, I'll be showing a lot of the owner's past work. To go more in depth, he's a very well-rounded developer, I think. And he can do stuff like modeling, scripting, and VFX, I think. His past work was mainly on a JJK game, which has been put on pause for some reason I'm not too sure of, but I'm not complaining since we have got this game because of that. If we take a look at the stand models, I mean you can see the absolute detail with texturing, it looks amazing. The style stands out and it looks sick, not to mention the originality behind the King Crimson model. First off, a change to of his name is making him have a Greek crown, which matches his name as like King or the localized name which is Emperor. Something else is just how badass he looks. I mean his literal face is a reference to Optimus Prime, I mean how much cooler can it get? We can see some of the UI work as well. It looks pretty unique. Overall, is what you should expect from a JoJo game. Very flashy, colorful, stands out. It feels very similar to the end of JoJo game, so it might be some sort of tribute to that, which I like a lot, since the UI work for the character selections in that game, it was super well done. The game itself, although I couldn't find much confirmation, should apparently have some sort of YBA combat, which I'm extremely happy for, because personally, even though I get ragey sometimes, <laughs> YBA combat is good, and it was one of the best combats I enjoyed. Anyway, that's about it for today. This was just a video to build up hype for the game, as I loved how it looked so far. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe, it helps out a lot. I have a Discord, by the way, and, well, have a good day.